This is Jeff and JD29 here about to play another Pokemon training card game online gameplay. This is number 51 of the series. And I'm going to feature another deck, a new deck that just came out of the recent uh, expansion account. Well, the, the expansion before the set, the newest set, Crimson Invasion, came out. So, Shining Legends, it's my Raichu GX deck. I'm going to show you the deck right here, right now. Oh, I, I, keep, I keep going to collection. Sorry. It's sort of deck manager. Let's wait for this to load because it's just recently updated. Oh, there we go. We got a deck manager. There we go. I have, it, I have it here. The decks. There you go. Right to GX. I'm going to play it out like I'm going to expand it for you guys so you guys can all see. Okay, so. Here's the deck. So here's Right to GX. Right to GX has the uh, attack Powerful Spark. It's a uh, stage 1 GX. 210 HP, which is very nice. Uh, it's a uh, powerful spot for two energy. The two double colors and a uh, double colors energy does 20 times more 20 plus 20 more damage times the number of lightning energy attacks to all Pokemon. So similar to Darkrai EX uh, from Breakpoint. I'm going to show that to you as well. Let me just uh, re expand right here. I'm going to show you Darkrai. Darkrai has the same, it's the same concept as Darkrai EX from Breakpoint. I'm going to show it right now. I have it right here. Here's Darkrai EX. Let me expand it on the first second so you guys can see it. There we go. Dark White has also the same uh, attack cost for double colors. Dark Pulse. It does 20 for e plus 20 for each dark energy as well. So it's the uh, same thing. Well, Righteous is the same thing. It's just that for Dark White. Dark White Dark, is the same thing as Dark White. It's just that it's the stage one. So you play it similar to Dark White. And I'm going to show the deck list. Play, my, I play a 4-3 line of the Righteous GX here. And Raichu has a second attack for two Thunder and one Lightning and one Colorless Energy. Thunder does 160 and does 30 damage to itself. So that's another good attack. Like, if you don't get enough energy with Powerful Spark, with a choice, might be doing 190. So you could, you get uh, one shots like Basic GX, like 180, 190. Also as well. And uh, with Kukuri, you can do 210. So you could definitely uh, one shot those uh, Stage 1 GXs and Basic GXs. So I play a 4 3 line. I played on. I play the 60 HP. I already have the 60 HP of no Pikachu with Nuzzle. Nuzzle's a good attack too, which can paralyze uh, on, on contact. If you if it heads, you f your opponent's paralyzed, so it gives you attack to stall. I'll find I explain right to GX attack, which is Volt Tail GX. Does 120 for the same energy cost as Thunder. And my opponent's active with Pokemon is now paralyzed. It's also similar to Lapras GX's Ice Beam GX, which is uh, cost 2 water. I'm going to show Lapras GX right here. Similar to that, it's the same as Lapras GX's uh, GX attack, but uh, it's uh, oh, here it is. I'm gonna show it to you right now. I speed that's 100 for two water and uh, color, so that's 20 more. Is that's 20 more damage uh, than Lapras's GX Ice Beam GX attack, but it's with the same effect. So, um, yeah. So you if you need to get stuck, you can buy. If you see no running any Guzma, you can buy. You can uh, stall with that as well. I play okay, so I play with. A, I also pair with a Magnezone. I play a three-two-three Magnezone line. Magnezone has the ability called Magnetic Circuit. For max, I'm, just, I'm trying to maximize it so you can see it. Sorry, my laptop's like. Oops, sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. There go. There you go. That's Magnetic Circuit. So as often as you like during your turn, before you attack, you may attach a Lightning Energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So if I have a base, I have a lot of basic lightning in my hand. I will attach them with Magnezone. I have a Magnezone on my bench. I can just attach them to right, right, true, or any other of my Pokemon, so I can increase his uh, powerful spark damage output. So there we go. I play also one Rengaru. So a Rengaru has the Instruct ability, which says uh, you can draw to, up to three cards in hand. Which I like. I like Rengaru. I usually I always like the Rengaru better than Shammy X. Shammy X has setup ability, which draw, when you draw without two, you draw to have six. So Rangaroo is like, just in case you get end like game, you can just um, draw a Rangaroo and hopefully uh, draw a supporter or that card you need to win the game. So there we go. So I play also two Raikou from the new set as well, Shiny Legends. Uh, it has the attack called Booming Thunder for one Lightning. It attacks a, li basic, a Lightning Energy card from your Discord pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So it works similar to like Yveltal from, um, also I believe it was from Faith Collide. 
It had the oblivion wing attack. I'm gonna show that one. I'm gonna showcase that one here as well. It did for one darkness. It did 30 damage. It did the same one. That, it did the same uh, 30 amount of damage as well. I'm gonna show it right here. And here's the about I'm talking about. There it is. Uh, uh, so it, it attacked a dark instead of a lightning. It did 30 same damage damage as well. So. Yeah, so it might go just in case if I get stuck late game, I can I'll recover those energy if I can pull and get knocked out or discarded. So, yeah, it's another recovery uh, energy option. I also play one Tapu Koko GX. Tapu Koko GX has the ability of Arrow Trail. So basically, when you drop it down to your bench, you drop Tapu Koko, uh, Koko GX to your bench. It's 170 HP stage one, uh, basic GX. If you, when you drop if you drop Pokemon from your hand to your bench, you can move any number of lightning energy from your other Pokemon to him. And you, if you do, you switch him to your active. Let's say if I have... If, they, if my opponent has a lot of energy attached to all the Pokemon, I can use the Tapu Thunder GX attack, his Tapu Thunder GX attack, which has 50 times the number of amount of energy attached to all your opponent's Pokemon. So let's say they're playing against Gardevoir or Volcanion, or Thunder has a lot of energy acceleration, I can just use that to knock out, like, a Gardevoir. Because Gardevoir's GX is 230, and it's pretty hard to knock out itself, so... Say so that's like five energy or four energy of choice by knocks out Gardevoir. It also has Sky Hat close from 130, same energy cost, two lightning, one colorless. So it's another two shot attack, which I like. Taco Koko is actually one of my favorite GXs too, as well, because just because of that ability. I also play one, uh, right now the Pokemon, I play one Tabu Lele GX, which has the one attack ability. When you play it from your hand, from the bench, you can search your supporter card and put it to your hand. So pretty much I can search, like, the, if I'm going first, I have in my hand, I can search for that first turn Bridget. Which like, allows me to get three basic Pokemon, one Pokemon EX, and put it to my bench. To my deck. So, which is pretty good. Basic staple support. Everyone, you play, you play at least two or three at every deck. Alright, so now a trainer lineup. So, I play four Max Elixir. Max Elixir says, you look at the top six cards to your deck, attach your basic energy, you find it to your basic Pokemon, to your bench. So, pretty much, I that's like an energy, my energy acceleration. So, every time I get a Lightning, I attach it to like a Pikachu, or a Lele, or a Ranguru. Also, right Cold 2, or a Magnemite. So I can even move in with Tiger Coco. I can get more. Uh, I, I can increase uh, powerful sparks energy output as well. Next turn I play, I play three rare candy. So I choose one of my basic Pokemon. In this case, I use it for Magnemite to evolve to Magnezone. If I have that stage two Magnezone into and evolves it from the Pokemon, I put it to. I put that card into the uh, basic Pokemon to play, evolve it. Well, you can't use it during your first turn. Or basically, I'm going to play that turn. So I, it gets my Magnezone out quicker, as well. I play one Super Rod to get back my energy and my Pokemon. So plus three of any of the combination, put it back to the deck. It's pretty much stay straightforward. Just because I lose energy or anything, or if I need that extra right to GX, I use that. I play four Ultra Ball, which pretty much my uh, searcher. Put this card two cards and any Pokemon to your hand. So I should have like my Pikachu, my choose or uh, Tapu Koko if I need it, or Right Call too, or Mangan as well. Just because I get stuck. Then I play uh, one Bridget. I was explaining that before. So you deck for one basic Pokemon 3x or three Pokemon basic Pokemon. I like to do that on my first turn. If I'm going first, so I get my Pikachu's out, my Night Knight, so all that stuff. Also, White Call as well. Just the case, so I get I can start off the acceleration that way. I play one Clement, which runs from Generations. It searches deck up to your four Lightning Energy cards. You really put into your hand. So pretty much, if I have a Magnezone out, I can combine that with um, uh, his Magnetic Circuit attached those four Energy. Uh, to uh, any of my Pokemon on the field, so that's like Raichu or Lele or anything like that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So I play two Guzma, switch one of your opponent's Pokemon with the active, and then if I do, I switch my active with one of my bench. So let's say if they have like a Pokemon they're ready to attack, I can just Guzma out and I'll have I'll knock them out with like my Raichu or my Coco or anything. So it's, it causes stalls my point. Or if I get stuck, I can use that as a retreat card, uh, switch card as well as well. Then I play. 4N, pretty much the staple. Each part of hands your hand to the deck, and then you draw each, each card for the remaining cards. Right? It's good uh, if I don't want to lose too much support, or my opponent has, like beacons with a little Volpix, or uh, adds cards to their hand with like a Mega Ross Algorithm GX attack. I can just end them down and have them re re dig for the res resources again, and then search them out. I play one Professor Kukui, draw two cards during this, card, this turn, your Pokemon like, do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So let's say if I need that extra damage, or if I need the cards I'm looking for, I just use Kakui. And then I can get the extra damage, so I can hit for numbers as well. And I can get two extra cards out of it too. Uh, four plus the second one, don't have to spend any much for this one. This is the best draw support in the game. You draw this card in hand, draw seven. Nothing much to say about that, it's pretty much a staple in every deck. I play two choice span. 
which uh, attacks Pokemon, does cause attacks to do starting more damage to both active GX and EX. So I get that extra, it's for numbers as well, so I can get that off my right shoe or my right curl or then a two even or anything else or Coco as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I play also, I play two Floatstone. That's also, uh, I, if I attach it to my Pokemon, I get free retreat. So let's say if I have a Magnezone, I really use it for Magnezone because they have a, a three retreat cost and Magnezone has a two retreat cost. So I can get them out of the zone fast if I'm losing any energy. Now I play 12 Lightning Energy to round it out. So that's pretty much everything there. Let's get, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's test out the game. Let's go to the ladder. Hope I get a win with this deck here. Uh, yes, I'll discard my change. I didn't really change much anyway. So hope I can get a win with this deck here. I love this playing this deck. I tested it in the tournament in the online and I did, finished it first, which was pretty awesome. So I want to try to get a win with this deck here. Let's go to, uh, here we go, right to GX. Let's begin. I got a three game winning streak there too as well. So let's continue that streak. I want to continue that streak. Okay, so we got a game. We are playing today against Kudra89. So it's like, I think I'm playing against a Water, Psychic, Grass, and Lightning. I think I'm playing against a Galissapod Garbato deck, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's the only thing I can really think about. Which I don't think is a bad matchup. I, can, I always have to get consistent hit 210. Which is fine. Okay, so let's, I'm waiting, let's, I get to choose the coin flip. But when the coin flips, I'm definitely going first. That is awesome. So hopefully I can draw that first turn Bridget. Let's see how my hand is. Okay, that's there. Okay. Oh, I got a lot of Pokemon. Oh, but okay, this is a okay hand. I can start off a Raikou. I can drop a Pikachu and a Rangaro as well. I like to get a draw support. My opponent's, my opponent's gonna mull again, which is good. I can get extra cards and stuff. I like to get a draw supporter here at least. Or Lele, so I can search that draw supporter. Okay, so I'm, uh, he took one more again. I don't know what I'm playing against. It looks like Galissa Pot to me. See Rainbow Energy, I see double colorless energy as well. So he drops out active, he drops out one bench. I like to draw a card, of course. And I draw a float stone. Okay, and I draw a choice span. So I'm gonna attach um, a lightning to the right core, and I'm just gonna pass my turn. I don't need to play anything else at this moment. So what he draws, okay. He draws for his turn. Drops another wind pot to the bench. Wind pot is a ability called Wimp Out. So if you uh during your first turn has an overtreat card, so you could treat her free. So you ultimate discard in double colors and a Guzma. He gets a Tabo Lele GX, okay. He's probably gonna go for a Bridget here, or probably a Sycamore. He drops another Lele, gets the, so he uses the one tag. Let's see what he searches for. So, oh, he searches for a Bridget, okay, that's what I thought. So he's gonna grab two more Pokemon to put his bench, Pi. Another Trubbish and another Wind Pile, maybe a, a Promo Coco as well. So there's a Pomo Coco and a Trubbish. Are we gonna see our first turn spread, maybe? Maybe, because he draws the Pomo Coco. Oh no, he attaches a rainbow to the Galissa Pot. So we're not gonna see our first turn spread. Oh, we draw a Sycamore, that is great. So I'm going to attach the Choice Band to Raikou. No, actually, I'm gonna attach it to Pikachu. I'm gonna lose two Vital GX, unfortunately, so. I get it back with Super Battle, but I don't have to play I'm gonna attach the Floatstone to a Rangaru. I'm going to go for the Sycamore. Oh no, wait, first, before I do that. I want to evolve to buy two GX, so. Let's do that. I want a Sycamore, definitely. I'd like to do some more energy here, hopefully. Let's see what I get. Okay. Oh, right, good. I got a Magnum and two more energy. So I'm going to Ultra Ball. Discarding the, uh, the Ultra Ball and the other energy. So I'm going to grab a Magna Zone for next turn. Like a red candy into her next turn, and I can use right uh, while well, it's able to use right to uh, right cause spooky thunder attack to get an energy. I'm gonna attach the lightning to my right true GX, and I'm going to use booming thunder for 30. I'm going to attach a lightning to the right true, my right true GX. But at least next time I'll get that man, uh, I will be able to get that magnezone, uh, magnezone ready to go if he doesn't end me or anything. Let's see what he does. Probably say, I hope, he might have a draw support. That's why he probably got bridge himself. Okay, we see a Galissa pod. And we see an end. Oh, okay, shoot. That's okay. Alright, so let's see what I got here. Okay. Oh, they got a new red carry, but no magnetism. But they got some more people. So we see another Galissa pod coming down. 
It's when it leaves the first impression. It pretty much does uh, 30 base, but if you are uh, switched, if you become active this turn, it does 90, so it does 120. So that's what I draw. I'm gonna put my regular, which he has a fault stone. I draw another red cannon, which is useless. So I'm going to attach a Pikachu, two more Pikachu. Draw that I'm gonna roll to Magnet turn. I'm going to attach a Lightning to Raichu. I'm going to retreat into Raichu. I think I'm gonna go for a Volto GX here. Just hope he doesn't have Guzma. I right, so roll it. I'm gonna 150. If I can't, I can't really one shot it. I'll be ten. I'll be ten short. That's what my opponent draw, does. Okay. All right, he plays the Ace of He's gonna pick up that. He's going to pick up the uh, Galissa Pod. Hey, probably gonna put more on a second Galissa Pod. Oh, he's gonna put more Baby Coco actually. He attaches the rainbow to the other Galissapod. We'll probably see a first impression for a 120 here. Oh, no, actually 150 through the choice band. Yep. So let's see the first impact. I have to knock out this Galissapod. So let's see, I gotta do a supporter here. I drew the Magnus on, but Magnus is not really helpful right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go for, I'm just gonna, um... I'm gonna take with Thunder, actually use Thunder here. Do 190. So just, he will get, uh, he'll be pretty close to knocking himself out. I'll be knocked out anyway. Let's see what he does now. I'm pretty stuck here. See so another Galissapod coming down. You see a Flowstone, it's probably gonna attack to the Trubbish. It's a choice by the other Galissapod. And we see an N. Okay, good. N. I need N. I need, I need to end. I need, I need that end. If I draw a bunch of energy, I'll draw it all the right shoe. Okay. I drew Coco as well, but Coco's not gonna really help me here. I don't have a draw support. Let's see what he does. He does his, um, a double colorist to it. He's probably gonna knock me out with something else here, but I would need another energy. Oh, we see a Gawa Toxin Gawa there, which is not good because that negates my abilities. But I do have Raikou, so I could drop. I could knock it out with Raikou. We're gonna see a Crossing Cut GX and knock him out. So let's see. He'll probably pull, he's gonna pull on the baby Coco. So I'm gonna pop him out through a Rangaru. Now I need a Fear Blower. I draw a Kukui. Kukui could come. Uh, it's okay. That's the best support I wanted. I will have to write you. I'll drop the Raikou. I'll touch a grass to the uh, lightning to Raikou. I'll play the Kukui. Let's see what I got out of the Kukui. I draw an N and the Magnet turn. Okay, good. That N can help me though too. So I'm gonna retreat. I'm gonna start on Raikou. I'm going to use Boom and Thunder for 30. I'll attach energy to my Raichu. We'll be actually doing 50 with the Kukui increase. So I'll attach energy to Raichu. So let's see what he does now. Okay, he's gonna attach a float, attach a float stone to uh, Garbador. Plays the field blower, gets rid of my pie, my float stone, of Orangaroo, of course. That's only two hits left, active. Let's see what he does now. Probably gonna see a Galissa pot. He's probably gonna promote this Galissa pot. But I can, if I draw energy, I can knock out a right to next turn. Okay, yeah, we're gonna see that Galissa Pod be promoted out. We're gonna see a first impression. Most likely. Yep. Well, the good news with this is, he takes two down to two pies, I am down to two. He has no other attacker ready. And he can't really one shot my right two, so. It's not looking too bad right now at this moment. Let's see what I draw. I draw a Lele, which I'm not going to use. I'm going to play the end. So I need a fill, I need an energy. And I did get it, which is good, but I drew three by candy. Ouch. Which I would take a knockout on this Galissa pod. With power for Spark. So I'll be doing 60 with the power for Spark. I will take two prizes. Let's see what two prizes I got. Okay, I took a Magnemite, which I don't need, and an Ultra Ball. 
Uh, I could ultra. I guess I could ultra ball for another bite. I don't have another bite. I just got my ultra with the. With the uh. Oh no! That's, uh, yeah, I, I have to get my super ball. Let's see. I'll probably draw the Magnemite if anything. Plus, I can't really one shot anything. So we see a double colorless energy on the Lele, and we're gonna see a second one. See what my opponent gets here. If I draw my other chest, I can attach it. I can knock out with Lele. I can knock out with uh, Raichu's Thunder, G Thunder Attack. And we see a Transfer Lance Guard, though. I've got to be careful with that, too. How many items have I played? I've only played four items. So you'd be only doing 80. If he pulls Lele, he's going to probably get me an indirect drive for 80. Oh, actually, now 110 now. So he will knock out my Raichu next turn. This turn. Let's see what I draw with off this draw. I draw a max elixir. Okay. So I will touch it. I will definitely touch the lightning to write you. I will drop the magnemite. I will max elixir. Let's see if I hit it. And I did, which is great. I'll attach to Pikachu. Okay. Next turn, I'm gonna ultra for another Magnus zone so I can thin out my deck a little bit. So I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to do it now so I can get it on my deck now. I'll discard the Magnetron and the Red Candy. So I'll get another Magnetron next turn. But I go over there and put it in work. Okay, so... I'm going to just Thunder. For 160. I need a choice, but I can, like, I can actually knock out a little later. I'll do 30 to myself. That's not really the tag, though. Really the tag is only Lele. Unless he draws the energy with uh, Glissop. Uh, we see the en quick energy drive for the knockout. Oh, he wins. That's He wins, unfortunately. So, my folks, that's... I try my best, folks. Stay tuned for more of this thing. So, watch. I hope you enjoyed. I forgot my total amount of my prize, but I don't think it really would have mattered. Okay. Stay tuned for more for this. Bye, bye for now. Let me just...